tuning in today. Today I have a very special guest. As you may have seen in my last couple of videos, it always says produced by our tractor production. We have today we have the one and only tractor himself. He has a YouTube channel called The Tractor Now. Uh, he does like motorbikes and all that motorcycles, dirt bikes, all that cool stuff. My first question to you is what got you interested in into motorbikes and stuff like motorcycles and all that? Yeah, um, I mean, I've always been into cars ever since I was a kid, right? Like before I even got my driver's license, I was very driven that way. And okay. then um, I got into some car racing and whatnot and then just, you know, kind of met different people and met people with bikes and uh, I tried bikes. And then once I got on two wheels, it was history from there. How many bikes do you actually own, like motorcycles and dirt bikes and all that? So I have three. I have uh, kind of one for each discipline, right? I have okay. a KTM dirt bike, cool. um, an Aprilia road bike that I ride on the street sometimes to go to work or coffee, uh, and then a Suzuki uh, Gixxer 750 for uh, racetrack use. How many bikes have you used in your life, like all together, without even the ones that you own? Like how many have you actually used? I don't know if I can count that high. Um, no, I'm oh. kidding. I don't know, maybe about a dozen or so. So I kind of changed bikes over the years because okay. it's, uh, you know, you learn what you like and then you just kind of uh, go from one to another till you find something you're really happy with. And that's where I'm now. So I'm, I'm keeping these. That's good. Which one is your favorite? Out of the three, which one would you say has to be your favorite? Favorite. You know what? I think it's my yellow bike, my street bike, um, nice. the Aprilia Tuono, because it's kind of an exotic. It's Italian. It has a very cool. special engine, which is a V4, where the cylinders are literally in a V like this. You got two on each side, and it uh, it sounds like nothing else. That's why I love it. Because it's just special. It's unique. And do you ever um, do you ever feel nervous before you go on to a bike? I used to, not anymore. Now it's more um, when you're racing, you know, before you get on the track, you start to feel that performance anxiety, like, you know, bef before you play a, a basketball game or something like that, because yeah. you want to do good and the stakes are kind of high, right? Okay. Uh, it's a bit of a dangerous hobby. So I, I feel that before I get on the racetrack, but otherwise it's just, it's just for fun, right? <laughs> what kind of race competitions have you entered? So it's, I just do amateur stuff. I mean, I, I don't enter actual races. I okay. still have to show up to my day job on, you know, Monday morning. Uh -huh. But um, so it's, uh, it's called Track Days and cool. um, it's at Calabogie. It's only about an hour away. Uh -huh. And uh, we literally just go on the track and try to improve our technique and uh, uh, be, be fast, but be safe at the same time and be yeah. smooth. And smooth is actually fast because you're in control and you're calculating your corner entries and your corner exits and where you get on the gas. So. That kind of leads into my next question. Hmm. Are there any safety procedures that you like do before you get onto the bike itself? Uh, in terms of getting dressed, yeah. So like I wear full leathers, uh, chest and back protector, and then added armor underneath the leathers, okay. uh, boots, helmet, gloves, obviously like it's essentially the whole thing because because you it's not a matter of, uh, of uh, if you go down, it's when you go down and uh, I want to be protected when I go down, right? <laughs> so what got you into doing YouTube? Um, wow, okay, interesting question. I had some YouTube videos from way before which were car related and then I, uh, I had a hard drive crash actually. I, I lost all my videos from ever since and um, then I thought, you know what, I'm collecting a lot of these memories. We're going on really memorable trips. And I thought, why not make some nice videos, put them on YouTube, and then that way they're just in the history of the internet for everyone to see, right? Do you so. enjoy the content that you make? I do, absolutely. I don't think I could do it if I if I didn't. What's your what would you have to say your favorite video is on your channel? Your current channel from like your first video to your most recent video. Which one is your favorite? Let's say it's my uh, TTR review video, uh, the original in its unmodified form. Um, it's one of the more popular videos, but I like it because it's just kind of, it fills a gap. Uh, when I was doing research to buy that bike, I was trying to find a review that kind of really explained everything and it didn't exist. So I thought, why don't I create it? Um, and uh, then a week later, I ended up modifying the bike to make it a bit faster and I made a review of that. But the, uh, the first one, I think, was what kind of started the, the process, so I'll have to go with that one. <laughs> nice. Um, what equipment do you use for your videos? 
equipment. So I just upgraded this winter to the new GoPro uh, Hero 7 Black, which is a super long name, but the black essentially has this um, gimbal type stabilization. Okay. Um, and uh, I had some pretty old cameras before that, and I thought it was time to upgrade now that the stabilization's there, and it just makes the videos look like, really nice. Big thanks for Alex for giving us a glimpse into the motorcycling world. Uh, you guys might be wondering why I know Alex. Well, he's a great friend of my father and he produces all my, he help, he edits, he does all that. He makes sure the audio is crisp, the, the video quality is all good. So I got to give him real <laughs> Yeah, thanks. right on, buddy. You know what? I really like doing it and I, and I, I appreciate the, the thanks. And it's, it's just, it's a pleasure to, to work with an aspiring YouTuber. I mean, you've already got, <laughs> yeah. what, 75 subscribers and growing. And, and I think it's awesome you're doing this. So I will support you any day of the week. All right. Thank you for joining us. Thank today. you very much for having me. I appreciate that. Good luck Alex, to you. Alex, the tractor. All right, guys. Please like, share, and comment. And don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next episode of SQTV. <laughs>